Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about ADA. So ADA is still in this pullback. We talked about that yesterday, by the way, if you're interested in the daily chart, I took a look at that yesterday as well. So you might wanna check it out if you're interested in the bigger picture. If you're new here on the channel, um, you might find that useful. Today, we only take a quick look here at the, da uh, at the, at the daily, uh, at the four hour, at the one hour charts, because not much happened, but we have a bit of a pullback there. And um, we wanna talk about the relevant support level and that ADA might approach here a micro decision point, a pivot, you know, this micro support area on the chart, and what that might mean for the price. So we are looking here at a structure where the price um, could still be moving in the, in the let's say, short-term bearish um, white scenario. The risk is just that this is still a B wave, okay? And even in this scenario, however, it seems as if the price might wanna go higher at least this is what I'm watching for, as long as the 35.8 cent level is holding, which is the 61.8 retracement. However, below that level, I will probably not watch for one more high anymore, at least not in the same microstructure. It can still morph, it can still change, but it, you know, for me, it, it appears that the price might need one more high. Doesn't have to. But in the white count, the 100% Fibonacci extension is usually for such a corrective rally, an ideal target. And that's at 44.4 cents. Well, we haven't reached that yet. And therefore there's still space for one more leg up. And therefore I'd like to see the price at least get there. But again, below 35.8 cents, we know that this is likely not going to happen, at least not in the same microstructure. It would indicate a shift in structure which can happen, but this is at the moment what I'm tracking. Okay, so the, it's all about understanding when does the wave count fail or when it, when is it likely going to change to morph. And yeah, as I said, below 44.4 cents, it's, it's likely going to do so. Now, there is the yellow scenario, which is more directly bullish. In this scenario, we have also a few levels to watch. Specifically, a break above that 44.4 cent level would open the door further to the yellow wave count, which means at the moment, in both scenarios, I'm watching for higher, but in the yellow scenario, um, to really call it a viable third wave, which is part of that larger five wave pattern of a diagonal structure, um, I need to see the price get to 51.2 cents. So this is what I would like to see to really call that a third wave, at least according to my interpretation, then I can add a support area for wave four, and then we can watch for the fifth wave to the upside going forward. And the third wave would likely also be an ABC structure and the fifth wave as well. Only if I get all these five waves that minimally reach 56 cents, I can say that most likely here on the 5th of August, a substantial low has formed. So wave one, wave two, wave three, wave four, wave five. And this is what we need to see. Okay, all five waves to the upside here. And um, this is what we need to see really to, yeah, to confirm a substantial low is formed. Until then, the risk of one more low is just high. So I'm not, highly, I'm, not, I'm not saying this is bearish. It's still possible as part of a still unfolding wave two, but we would then get very, very close to the formal invalidation point at around 22 cents. That's the June 2023 low. But even in this scenario, I mean, probabilities for a bullish count then overall would reduce. And I just highlight here the risk. As long as we are above support, however, there is no evidence that we've started wave C to the downside, which is the main purpose of tracking these support levels, right? Especially here, that micro support area. So while the, the white count is still likely and a risk is very likely, it takes a break below support to confirm it. Okay, so I find it very likely. It's just that we we cannot confirm the start of a Z wave until the price breaks below support. So as long as we're above support naturally, I'd be looking for higher, especially as long as there is still, um, let's say, a, 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 let's say a, a plausible reason for why the price should still push higher. Like for example, it would look best with one more high and the 100% extension level hasn't been reached. So that's the update about ADA. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. 
for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.